I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you a really easy recipe. I call it a recipe, but it's really not a recipe uh, for some buffalo flatbreads. Now, I'm using leftover turkey, which is perfect for this time of year, and I'm going to make some delicious flatbreads. Now, let me tell you why I came up with this idea. My sis, my siblings are at college, and my sister is going to be staying with me for Thanksgiving break, and she loves anything buffalo. So I thought, you know, how fun is it going to be a day after Thanksgiving or a couple of days after Thanksgiving while she's still over on her Thanksgiving break to make some flatbreads with the leftover turkey? That way we can all hang out, have a fun game night, have some delicious flatbreads that I know we all love anything buffalo, so it's a win. Um, but I thought maybe the same for you if you've got your kids home for the holidays or whatever the occasion may be. Buffalo flatbreads always hit the spot. And what's better than using leftover turkey to make them? So let me run you through the list of ingredients because it's really short and sweet. You'll need some flatbreads. These are called uh, Greek flatbreads in my grocery store. And I just flip them upside down so that they're a little bit easier to use the flat side for your toppings. And I place them on a wire rack over top of a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil. And then I've got some blue cheese crumbles, some shredded cheese. You could use cheddar, you could use mozzarella, you could use whatever you want. A little bit of light olive oil. This is some steak seasoning, an absolute must. Buffalo sauce of your choice. And I've got my shredded turkey. This is just white meat turkey breast that I just shredded up and I had it in the fridge. And this is the last of the turkey for the year. So I might as well make something really delicious and really fun and easy with it that we are going to enjoy. I've got my oven preheated to 400 and we're going to just rock on and get started. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil, light olive oil will do, nothing too strong. And I'm going to just oil both sides of my flatbreads, kind of helps crisp them up a little bit. And I put them on a wire rack just so that the air can circulate and the bottom doesn't get all soggy. Makes it easy peasy. These are really good. And you know what? If you don't want to use buffalo sauce, use barbecue sauce. If you don't want to use barbecue sauce, use Alfredo sauce and a little bit of ham and you've got yourself cordon bleu flatbreads. You know what I mean? By all means, just use this as an idea to, you know, with whatever leftover, with whatever you sauce you've got with your leftover turkey. And it doesn't have to be white meat turkey, but that just happens to be all I've got on hand. Now, to my turkey, I want to just bathe it in my buffalo sauce. You can use as much or as little as you want. Just give that a good mix. That looks great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the chicken before the cheese because I don't want the chicken breast to dry out so the cheese is going to keep the moisture under there. So I'm going to put the cheese on top. Just go ahead and spread, not the chicken, the turkey. You know what I meant. Spread that all around, nice and generous. Sprinkle some steak seasoning. I love steak seasoning on pretty much everything. It's got onion, black pepper, garlic, tons of different spices. Super good. Buy a salt-free version when you can find it. Um, that way you can control the salt. And now you're going to top it with your cheese. Like I said, it can be Mott's, it can be Monterey Jack, it can be cheddar, it can be whatever you've got left over. Great thing about flatbreads, pizzas, strombolis, anything like that, is that it really allows you to be creative and just use whatever you have on hand. And it always turns out good. And then follow that up with your blue cheese. And now these are going to go into your preheated oven, 400, for I would say around 20 minutes. And I'm also going to, in the meantime, I'm going to slice up some scallions to put that on top when they come out. So good, with a little bit of sour cream. Ooh, yeah. Party in the house, yeah. I'm going to pop these in and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. My flatbread was in the oven for 20 minutes. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Now I'm going to just top them with some scallions. I always top pretty much anything buffalo with scallions. I just like it. I just think it goes together really well. I'm going to serve it with some sour cream. You want to serve it with ranch? Go for it. You want to serve it with blue cheese? Like blue cheese dressing? By all means, the world is your pickle, my friend. Look at that beautiful thing. This is going to be very, very hot. But you know, someone's going to make the sacrifice. You see how I'm rocking? You see how I'm rocking the pizza? cutter across, that means that all of your toppings don't slide all the way off your flatbread or your pizza. So whenever you're cutting anything 
with a lot of toppings, just rock it, rock it back and forth and it cuts through. Now I really probably should wait a minute because this is gonna burn me. I just know it, but you know, hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost forgot, sour cream. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so hot though, I'm scared. Mm. Mm. You're gonna wanna make sure you have extra turkey so that you can make this flatbread. Easy, cheap, cheerful, everybody loves it. Great for a get together, whether it's a small get together or a big one. I only made three because that's the last of the turkey I had. Double the recipe, make some more. Go to Lara in the kitchen. I'm eyeing this up like there's a love affair going on. <laughs> Go to laurainthekitchen.com just to get the written step-by-step -step recipe. Make it this weekend. Tag me, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Hunt. Bye.